In this first video, we're going to do modeling integer addition. So let's go ahead and get started. Please take out your handout homework assignment. It looks like what I have up here on the screen. It's just a modeling integer addition video one. At the top of the sheet, you're going to go ahead and fill in the vocabulary. I'll bring those terms up here in a minute. As you're filling up the vocabulary, you can pause the video and you can rewind it as needed. So don't feel like you have to do it as the video goes along. As the video goes along, you can pause it, write down the term, push play, and continue. So let's go ahead and get started with the first vocabulary term. Here we go. Integers. Integers are positive integers are all the whole numbers greater than zero, such as one, two, three, four, five. Negative integers are all the opposites of these whole numbers. Negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, negative 5, and so forth. We do not consider 0 to be a positive or a negative number. We call 0 a neutral number. The next term is the additive inverse. The additive inverse is the opposite of a number. For example, the additive inverse of 12 is negative 12. The additive inverse of negative 3 is 3. Formally, the additive inverse of x, which is a variable, is negative x. Okay? The sum of a number in its additive inverse is always 0. And this is an important algebra concept to understand. And then the next term is the cumulative property of addition. It is also called the property of order. This property means that addends can be added in any order, and the sum is always the same. So let's get started on our example questions, problems. Question number one. We're going to use, um, I'm going to use color chips. You can use, use circles or whatever you want to, to, um, to model our equation that we create here. So let me get started. I'm going to put some red chips in the positive, such as. And I'm going to put some yellow chips in the negative. And then we're going to go ahead and do the problem. And when we do modeling like we did in class today, we're going to cancel out zero pairs. Where well, zero pair is that a negative, um, negative cancels out a positive, or a positive cancels out a negative. So what we're going to do is go through these and cross out um, the zero pairs. So let's go ahead and do that. For example, this yellow cancels out this red. This yellow cancels out this red. Yellow cancels out red, yellow cancels out red, yellow cancels out red. Okay. Now we're left with our uh, one yellow and a negative. So our answer is going to be negative one. Now to build our equation, we come back to what we started with. We started with six yellow and they are negatives. So we're going to have negative six here and then we have 5 red, and they are positive. So it's going to be 5. So our first equation is negative 6 plus 5 equals, and then we have our negative 1. Our second equation, um, because of one of the terms that we looked at, the cumulative property, is that we can add in any order the atoms. So we can reverse these atoms. We can say 5 plus, I'm going to put the negative 6 inside parentheses equals negative 1. The reason I put it inside parentheses is so that I know that that negative sign is grouped with the 6. Okay? So that's using the cumulative property. Okay, let's, take another, let's take another example. Let's look at number 2. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and use some of these colored chips over. We'll put three red and three yellow. 
and let's see what happens in this situation. Okay, I go ahead and I cancel out my zero pairs. Let me screen so you can see it this time. Okay, so I cancel out one, cancel out, cancel out, cancels out, cancels out, cancels out. Okay. So now what has happened is we don't have anything left over. So to demonstrate this as an equation, we have negative three, and then over here we have negative, or excuse me, positive three. So if we write the equation, we have negative three plus three equals zero. And then if we did the cumulative property, switch the add-ins around, we can say three plus negative three equals zero as well. Okay? And what these are is the, the third term on our list is additive inverses. Okay? Remember, additive inverses, the sum is always zero. So negative three is the additive inverse of positive three. Okay? And then um, sample problem number three we're going to look at some positives and negatives just inside um, a box here. Okay? In this, this one, we're going to um, first build our equation, and then we're going to go ahead and cancel out. Okay? So it doesn't matter which one we um, start counting first. Let's go ahead and count the negatives first. We count the negatives. We have one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight negatives. So our negative number is going to be negative eight. And then let's count our positives. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So it's going to be negative eight plus ten. And then my second equation, cumulative property, ten plus negative eight. Okay, and then we have to we have to solve it. So we're going to just go ahead and cancel our zero pairs. So a negative cancels out a positive. And I'm just going to go through here and just cancel out. And see what I'm left with. Looks like I'm left with a positive two. So negative eight plus ten is two. And 10 plus negative 8, again, is 2. Okay? And let's look at our fourth example. Doing the same thing. we we'll go through. And this time, I'm going to count the positives first. Just so it doesn't matter which one you first. I got 1, 2, 3 positives. And I'm going to add that to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Now, so it's going to be plus negative 9. Just looking at this problem, you can see that our final answer is going to be a negative number. There's a lot more negatives than positives. So when I do, um, when I do my zero pairs, it should come out to be a negative answer. And then switch the addings around. Cumulative property there. Oops. Okay. I will do make mistakes, so I'm going to go ahead and erase that and make that a three, okay, and then I'm going to go ahead and do my zero pairs. So these two cancel out, these two cancel out, these two cancels out, and then we have one, two, three, four, five, six. So three plus negative nine is six, negative nine plus three is six, okay. Now the last part of the homework assignment today is if you have any questions about what we've been doing today in this video tutorial, just write down the questions that you have and bring them to class. And please don't be shy to ask them tomorrow. Remember, um, if you have a question, probably five or six other people have the same question. So I look forward to hearing about um, these questions. And I, I hope to be able to answer them tomorrow. Good luck. Thank you for watching. Bye.